Hello and welcome to Rescue Speechless. Today's video is going to have a skin combo video and today's skin is going to be Cora. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be another skin combo video and today's skin is going to be Cora from the Chapter 5 Season 2 Battle Pass and she's a secret skin from this season. Cora is a part of the Avatar set introduced in Chapter 5 Season 2. We'll also be getting an Aang skin pretty soon as well but he'll be in the Avatar event pass similar to what you had last season with the TMNT but there'll be an Avatar themed one with like the Avatar themed quests and mythics as well which would be pretty cool. And the Cora skin herself has two edit styles which is Korra and Balanced. To unlock the Balanced style, you just got to complete quests on page two. I made five combos for each style. Let's get into the first combo. First combo's back blink is a hollow back, part of the Boundless set, introduced in chapter two, season four. And this is a customizer and super, superhero skins back blink, or one of the two anyway. And this back blink is pretty cool because you can use any sticker that you own. The sticker I'm using is Korra Reacts. And you get this sticker for getting the challenge, some of the challenges done, or one of the challenges done for the core quests. I'm not sure which one it is, but if you've done them all, you'd have this sticker. It's also pretty awesome as well because it's animated as well, as you see right here. Pickaxe is the Bolt Blades, part of the King of Olympus set, introduced in Chapter 5 of Season 2. I thought you'd use a pickaxe and a weapon wrap that's from this season. I guess the sticker is from this season, but the back of it itself isn't. But this pickaxe works very nicely with the standard style of Korra, and this is Zeus's pickaxe. I'm using lightning on, gives it a nice blue effect. The umbrella I'm using is Downpour, which is a Victory Royale umbrella from Chapter 2, Season 1. But you can use you can use Korra's glider. I don't have it unlocked yet, so you have to hire you have to um hire characters or revive teammates. So I basically I was playing solo yesterday, so I don't have any squad mates to revive. Or when I was trying to hire the actual AI, I couldn't see everybody was doing it. But either way, I'm using this for the water theme because Korra in the show. She is able to bend water, earth, fire, and air. So, obviously, you can use anything like fire related, water related. Use her glider, which will work nicely. But I decided to use this, for, use this umbrella for the water theme. Contrail is the waterfall. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3's Battle Pass. But if you don't use this, you can just use her Contrail, which is this one right here, which is Avatar's Descent, which has fire, has water, and has air, which is pretty cool. But I decided to use a water themed one. It's totally up to you what you want to use. And the weapon wrap for the first combo is Korra's weapon wrap, which is this one right here, right here, which is Water Tribe Colors, part of the Avatar set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 2. And you get this for doing one of the Korra quests. Works very nicely for the standard style. Let's move on to combo number two now. For this one, I thought I'd use a set of wings, and the wings I'm using are Shattered Wings, or sorry, Shattered Wing, part of the Broken Light set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 8, using it for the light blue design. Pickaxe is a Quarry X, part of the Undercover Summer set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7. This is part of the Slurp Series, or the Slurp Series Pickaxe, and I'm using it for the water theme. The weapon wrap for this combo is a water-related water weapon wrap, which is Tidal Wave, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 9. It's animated, you see it's basically like waves moving down a little bit as a beach and a little bit of water as well. It works very nicely, goes up very nicely with the pickaxe and the backman itself. Let's move on to the next combo, which is combo number 3 now. For this combo, I decided to use the Banner Shield, which is part of the Banner Brigade set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season X. You can also use the Banner Cape, but I'm using the Banner Shield. And the actual banner I'm using is Korra's one from the Crest. I'll quickly show you it. It is this one. Oh, it doesn't show you here. But basically, it's her banner, or the Avatar banner, which is this one right here. So I decided to whack this one on. It has all the different elements. It has has water, earth, fire, and air. And the colour I'm using is this one here on the second row, the fifth row one across for the blue. I couldn't get the exact blue, but I find this one does work pretty nicely in my opinion, as you see right here. Pickaxe is a Leviathan Axe, part of the Oathbreaker set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 5. Probably my favourite game in Legend Series, Pickaxe I do own. This and the Stun Knife are definitely up there, and I guess the Leon's Combat Knife as well. This is Kratos' Pickaxe, and he'll be coming back to the Drop very soon, similar to this as well. There'll be a bundle you can buy, or you can buy it separately, but I'm using this for the brown and the frosty theme works very nicely. I've been using this pickaxe a lot as reactive as well. The weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here, which is Indigo Ice, using this for the blue design. I guess the ice theme as well goes very nicely with the, with the Leviathan Axe. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7, definitely my favourite icy theme weapon wrap I do own. Let's move on to combo number four. Now, for this one, I thought I'd go for a fiery theme back bling and pickaxe. The back bling is a fractured world. Part of the Galaxia set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4. And Galaxia was the first ever crew pack skin we ever got. And this is her back bling. Works very nicely. You see it's like fire. It's a little bit of water as well. 
And then other places like uh, the earth, which is pretty cool. Backblade works very nicely for the fire, the water, and the earth. Pickaxe is the sulfur chains. Park the Ghost Rider set in Houston Chapter 2 Season 4. Works very nicely for the fiery theme. This is Ghost Rider's pickaxe. The web wrap fullest combo is this one right here, which is magma. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 8. And it's an item shop web wrap using it for the magma theme. You can also use Ghost Rider's web wrap, which is this one. This one right here would work nicely for the fiery theme. Or use anything water theme would work nicely. Let's move on to the next combo now which is combo number five and final combo for the standard Korra style. The back bling is the Castle Peaks, part of the Polar, Le Polar Legends set in Season Chapter 2, Season 1. Frozen series works very nicely. I do like its back, but not goes nicely with the color scheme. The grey and the blue and the white of like snow. Back bling is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I can't say I've really have ever used this back bling other than with the, Devour with the Devourer, which is that skin's back bling. Pickaxe is the Stellar Striker, part of the Solar Suite. So the Solar Sweetheart set in Shooting Chapter 5 Season 1. This is an Iron Shop pickaxe. For this one, you can either use the default for the orange or you can use the Cold Fusion for the blue design, like the Frozen design. As I said, use the Frozen design, but you can also use the default for the like, Fiery design. The web wrap for this combo is this one right here, which is the Win with Winterfest Flurry in Shooting Chapter 5 Season 1. And this was from the presents for the like, Christmas event last season. Works very nicely for the winter theme and the blue as well. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number six. And the first combo for the second star, which is balanced. As I mentioned, you get this for completing quests on page two. As you see here, it has a nice blue and white design. Back bling is Korra's back bling, which is the Avatar Cycle, part of the Avatar set. In chapter 5, season 2, it has all the different elements. It has water, it has earth, it has fire, and it has air as well. It's a pretty cool back bling, but it works very nicely with this style. It does work nicely with the standard, but I thought I'd use it for this one. Pickaxe, it's a Midnight Scythe, in chapter 4, season 2. You mainly use it for the blue design. And this is a pickaxe you can get for redeeming a V-Battles card, all the way up to April 14th. So, obviously, you still have a few days now if you do buy it. It can be any size one, it could be the cheapest one, the most expensive. If you buy a V-Bucks card, you'll be able to get this pickaxe for free after redeeming. The glider and the contrast are the same as the previous combos of the first style. And the web for this combo is this one right here, which is Polished Stone. Introducing Chapter 3, Season 3's Bat Pass, using it for the dark blue and light blue design. The hardest part for the second style for me personally was to find a weapon wrap that went nicely with the actual style. I like the style a lot, but it was quite hard in my opinion to find a weapon wrap. Let's move on to combo number 7 now. For this one, I thought I'd use the Grim Emblem, part of the Odyssey set. Introducing Chapter 5, Season 1. You can get this right at the end of Chapter 5, Season 1 for doing the Mosaic Quest, picking up a, picking enough of the mosaic pieces up. I think it was like 200 or 300. If you did that, you'd have this back bling. Using it for the light blue design. Basically, it's Cerberus with the three heads. It's a pretty cool back bling. Obviously, I know some people may not have got it because it's quite grindy to get it done, but either way, it's a very cool back bling. Pickaxe is a Phantasmic Pulse, part of the Boundless set in Shooting Chapter 2, Season 4. And this is a customizer in Superior Skins Pickaxe. The actual star I'm using is Valiant Fire. Primary color is Sky Blue, and secondary color is Sky Blue as well. Going for a light blue and dark blue design. The actual weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here, which is the Swept Free. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 3, using it for the dark blue and light blue design. As you see here, you basically have the dark blue and you have the light blue with the umbrella itself. This was a free weapon wrap for No Sweat Summer, I'm pretty sure, in Chapter 3, Season 3. Works very nicely. Let's move on to the next combo now. Combo number 8. For this one, I thought I'd go for white themed back bling and pickaxe. As you see, there's a little bit of white on this style as well for the balanced. Back bling is the perfect wings, which is my favourite set of white wings that I own. You can also use these ones here, the shattered wings, or just any other white set of wings you do own. And the back bling I'm using was introduced in Chapter 1, Season 9. Pickaxe is the electro, uh, electro? <laughs> electric crescent, which is part of the Flakes Power set in Shooting Chapter 4, Season 1. A very nice icon series pickaxe, and I'm using the Phantom Power edit style for the fully white design. My prep for this combo is this one right here, which is Item Shop, which is Fractal Zero, part of the Zero Point set in Shooting Chapter 1, Season X. Just has light blue, dark blue, and a little bit of white as well. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number 9. For this one, I thought I'd use the Shining Star Back Bling, Part of the Shooting Stars set in Shooting Chapter 2 Season 1, using it for a light blue design. Pickaxe is a Frozen Flourish. Part of the Chloe Kim set in Shooting Chapter 3 Season 2 is an Icon Series pickaxe, using it for the 
mainly light blue design. Let's move on to the graphic map for this combo now, which is this one right here, which is Ripley, which is a slap. So he's graphic map, pop, the slap squad set. In Houston chapter two, season one, you probably guessed the theme now. Use it for the dark blue and light blue design. Let's move on to the final Cora skin combos now. And for this one, I thought I'd use the Ouroboros back bling in Houston chapter three, season three. And this is a free back bling you get for getting challenges done. As you see, it's like a snake eating itself, pretty much. It's nice. It works very nicely for the blue. It goes pretty much like perfectly with the actual skin or the uh, color of the balanced edit style. I guess you say tint of blue. Pickaxe is the permafrost, part of the Harbinger set. Introducing chapter one, season five, Battle Pass. I'm using this for the blue design. At this stage, I wasn't sure what to use. I decided to whack this one on. And the final weapon wrap is this one right here, which is another water fiend weapon wrap, which is undercurrent. Part of the Dive Crew set in Shooting Chapter 2 Season 3's Battle Pass. It's an animated weapon wrap. I'm using it for the light blue and dark blue design. And that's all the Korra skin combos done. I actually unlocked her yesterday. When I do unlock the second style for Zeus, I'll make sure to get combos done for him and the rest of the skins I haven't done yet. Still waiting for Kratos to come back, and he will be coming back very soon. So if you keep an eye out for that if you're looking for the Kratos or the Viper X skin. If you ever do want to see any other skin combo videos or just cosmetic videos in general, could be skin, back bling, pickaxe, glider, slash umbrella, contra, or or anything other Fortnite related, always feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'm always down to give something new a go. But anyways, that was pretty... Decent.